In this video, you will learn how to set up sandboxing to send suspicious files to a Forti Sandbox appliance for further inspection. The FortiGate sends suspicious files to the Forti Sandbox. The Forti Sandbox scans for threats that can get past other detection methods by using Windows Virtual Machines or VMs to test suspicious files in isolation from your network. You will also configure your FortiGate to automatically receive signature updates from Forti Sandbox and add the originating URL of any malicious file to a blocked URL list. Finally, you will configure Forti Client to use extended scanning that includes Forti Sandbox. The PC is now quarantined by Forti Client and cannot access the internet or other network devices. This feature is currently only available for Forti Client 5.4 for Windows. Connect the Forti Sandbox to your FortiGate. In this example, port 1 on the FortiGate is connected to the Forti Sandbox's admin port, and port 2 on the FortiGate is connected to Forti Sandbox's outgoing port. Make sure that Forti Sandbox's port 1 and port 3 are on different subnets. Forti Sandbox's port 3 is used for outgoing communication triggered by the execution of the files under analysis. We recommend you connect this port to a dedicated interface on your FortiGate to protect the rest of your network from threats currently under investigation by the Forti Sandbox. Forti Sandbox's outgoing port must be able to connect to the internet. Open the FortiGate interface and go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, to create a policy allowing connections from the Forti Sandbox to the internet. Select Create New and name the policy. Set incoming interface to the dedicated interface, port 2, and set the outgoing interface to your internet-facing interface. Set source to all, destination address to all, schedule to always, services to all, action to accept, and select OK. Now open 40 Sandbox and go to System, Network, Static Routing to add static routes for both port 1 and port 3. Select Create New and create a static route for the admin port. Set the destination IP mask for traffic in the local network. Set the gateway to 172.20.121.2. Set device to the admin port. Create a second static route, this time for the outgoing port. Set the destination IP mask for a default route so that the Forti Sandbox can access the internet. Set gateway to 172.20.120.2. Set device to the outgoing port. Now that the Forti Sandbox has access to the internet through port 3, it will start to activate its VM licenses. Go to System Status and wait until a green arrow appears next to the Windows VM. This means that the activation process is complete and you can move on to the next step. On the FortiGate dashboard, go to Forti Sandbox and select Configure. Select Enable Sandbox Inspection and select Forti Sandbox Appliance. Set the IP address and enter a notifier email where notifications and reports will be sent. If you select Test Connectivity, the status shows that the service hasn't been configured yet. This is because you need to authorize the FortiGate to connect to your Forti Sandbox. Select Apply. Apply again. On the Forti Sandbox, go to File Based Detection, File Input, Device, and edit the entry for the FortiGate. Under Permissions, enable Authorized. On the FortiGate, go to System, Forti Sandbox, and select Test Connectivity. The status now shows that the service is online. First, on the FortiGate, go to System, Feature Select, and under Security Features, enable Antivirus, Endpoint Control, and Web Filter. Also, under Additional Features, enable Multiple Security Profiles. Then, apply your changes. Go to Security Profiles, 
antivirus and edit the default profile. Under Inspection Options, enable both Send Files to 40 Sandbox Appliance for Inspection and Use 40 Sandbox Database Options. If 40 Sandbox discovers a threat, it creates a signature for that file that is then added to the FortiGate's Antivirus Signature Database. On the FortiGate, go to Security Profiles, Web Filter, and edit the default profile. Under Static URL Filter, enable Block Malicious URLs Discovered by 40 Sandbox. If the 40 Sandbox discovers a threat, the URL that the threat came from will be added to the FortiGate's list of blocked URLs. Next, on the FortiGate, go to Security Profiles, 40 Client Profiles, and edit the default profile. Under Antivirus, enable Real-Time Protection, and then enable Scan Downloads, followed by Scan with 40 Sandbox. Enter the IP of the 40 Sandbox. Decide if you want to wait for the 40 Sandbox results before sending files to the PC running 40 Client, or if you want downloaded files to be sent as they are being scanned by the 40 Sandbox. Enable Use 40 Sandbox Signatures to make sure new virus signatures and blocked URLs from the 40 Sandbox are added to 40 Client's databases. This profile will be pushed to any device running 40 Client that is registered to your 40 Gate. These settings can also be configured from within 40 Client's antivirus settings. Then, on the FortiGate, go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and view the policy list. If a policy has antivirus and web filtering scanning applied, the profiles will be listed in the Security Profiles column. If scanning needs to be added to any security policy, excluding the Implicit Deny policy, just select the plus button. Select the default antivirus profile, the default web filter profile, and the appropriate proxy options, and the deep inspection profile for SSL inspection options to ensure that encrypted traffic is inspected. Then select OK. Generate traffic on a PC on your internal network. If your FortiGate discovers a suspicious file, it will now be sent to the Forti Sandbox. To view information about the files that have been sent on the FortiGate, go to FortiView, Forti Sandbox to see a list of file names and current statuses. You can also view results on the Forti Sandbox by going to System, Status, and viewing the Scanning Statistics widget. Note that there may be a delay before results appear. Open Forti Client using a Windows PC on the internal network. First, verify that it's registered to your FortiGate. Go to Antivirus, Real-Time Protection Enabled, and edit the settings. You will see that the Real-Time Protection settings match the 40 Client profile configured on the FortiGate. These settings cannot be changed using 40 Client. On the FortiGate, go to Monitor, 40 Client Monitor. Select the 40 Client device, and then select Quarantine to manually isolate the device from your network. The PC is now quarantined by 40 Client and cannot access the internet or other network devices. A message then warns the user to contact the system administrator. 40 Client cannot be shut down, uninstalled, or unregistered from the FortiGate. If the PC had downloaded a suspicious file that the 40 Sandbox determined was malicious, a quarantine would have been automatically applied. Quarantines can only be released from the 40 Client monitor on the FortiGate. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this one.